it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for the month of April for the sign of Virgo this is for Virgo Sun Moon rising and Venus this is for the month of April this reading may or may not be for you so you know if it doesn't resonate right away watch it at a later date you can also watch your moon rising and Venus signs what we got for Virgo what do we got for Virgo we're gonna get one of these for an overall energy oh the world card it says the universe this is a major new beginning right here one phase of your life is over, right? A new one is beginning. You you have successfully completed one chapter. Okay, you've reached the end. You've reached the end of one phase, and we're about to begin again. We have universal help here. A completion of one stage. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we got for Virgo for April? Virgo. We definitely have a major new beginning here. Death, <laughs> definitely. I mean, endings bring new beginnings. Both of these cards state that fact, okay? Something very significant in your life is ending or has ended, and you are about to embark on a new journey. No doubt. It's like, I mean, this is a time of transformation. It is a time of change. Things are absolutely about to change. I mean, you can't, that is huge, huge transformation. Huge change is on the horizon. You are transitioning. That's what's going on here. <laughs> oh yeah it's the end something has reached the end with the ten of swords absolutely it's the end of feeling defeated or the it's the end of some sort of very troublesome situation it's over mm -hmm. yeah wow wow okay now there's these this is a card of transformation this is a card of transformation and this one is due so you guys are absolutely going through a transformation. It's like rising up from the ashes, no doubt. No doubt. You guys are moving in a new direction, there's no doubt. There's, this is just amazing. It really is. Um, it's like you're headed towards something big, really big. Um, Wow. Two of swords. This is making a decision, you know, a, a stressful decision. You may have been trying to avoid this transformation. You may have tr been trying to block this transformation, but I don't think you can anymore. I don't. I feel as though you are going to be put right in a new position. You know what I mean? It's like... This is something you can't avoid, even no matter how hard you try. Life is about to change for you in a very positive way. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like you guys have been sitting on the fence. You've been indecisive, but I think there's going to be a sudden a sudden change. I do. I feel like there's going to be a sudden change, you know, that it whatever happens, it may be uh painful. I, you know, you may you may experience some pain with this change, you know. Change is scary. It is scary, but I feel like you can't stay where you're at anymore because there's there's no more you know excitement there wherever it is I think it's it's time it is time um, for you to head down that new path Wow oh my god this is a transformation card as well you guys are going through a major 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 transition in your life you're changing you're evolving you know, you're, you're, you're really moving towards balance and harmony and peace in your life. Whatever is ending, whatever is has ended or whatever is coming to a completion in your life, it's happening so that you can get something better, okay? Uh, you know, you may, you may feel overly excited. You may feel like, um, whew. This is too much. You may feel like um, you are getting distracted because this is this is so not what you're used to. I feel as though whatever is happening is is very positive. It's moving you away from conflict. It's moving you away from. Um, loneliness. You know, I feel like <laughs> oh, this camera is up so high, I do apologize. I'm going to have to stand up to look at this. Very good. Oh my goodness gracious so it looks as though you guys have a better opportunity like looking at you it's right here you have a you have a very exciting opportunity uh, being given to you okay it's like somebody is headed in your direction very very quickly um, you could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with the Pisces cancer Scorpio uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius you have Sagittarius a couple times um, and you have you have Scorpio in cancer a couple times so you could be dealing with Scorpio either way you you could be dealing with anybody so don't get caught up on that your your phase of being alone or your phase of not having togetherness you know your phase of, of not being happy I think that's just about over I think you have somebody coming into your life that has really, really, really good intentions. If they're not here already, they may hear, be here already, but it looks to me like things are moving forward pretty quickly. And I think that you're moving in a positive, positive direction. I think something significant has ended in your life and it has ended to bring you something better. Um, but you may, you may feel like it's unreal. You may feel like it's unreal with this Knight of Cups reversed. You may feel like um, what are this? What what is what are the motives here? Why is this happening? You may feel like you're a little emotionally discontent because you. It's like this. All of a sudden, somebody's here, and it's like they've come to sweep you off your feet. And you might feel like this is this is just too good to be true. I feel like you, you know, whoever you're dealing with does have good intentions. And they probably, you know, they can help you heal. They can help you heal from a situation. They really can. Um, <laughs> interesting. Major transformation here. And you guys, you may want, and maybe this is somebody that you've blocked in the past or they've blocked you because there was blocking. Maybe you've blocked this new start. Maybe you've been in denial. Maybe you've been holding back. Maybe, you know, you had to make a decision. Do you, and you've been indecisive. I see somebody has been indecisive about, you know, starting over. They've been indecisive about allowing what is meant to be to be. 
I feel as though it's like the time is now. This is divine timing. The time is now for you to go down that new path. So I feel like you have a very exciting uh, new offer coming in that you may feel a little weary about. You know, you're just probably like, my God, I, this is too good to be true. Um, you definitely have a new beginning here, and you're going to need to master your emotions to move forward and not look back, not block your block your heart from being loved, whatever that means. I just I, I'm I'm flabbergasted, and you're gonna be flabbergasted too. I mean, this is what I'm 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 like, oh my god, where where did this come from? This is unbelievable. It's it is um, huge huge transition here. I mean, I can't even get over it. Now it looks as though whoever is coming into your life, they're gonna compliment you very very well. Okay. You're able to blend with this person with ease. This is a very um, well-suited match, put it that way. Um, hmm. Ooh, oh my God. So yeah, there's a new passionate beginning here, a new start, a new, a new spark. Okay, you got, you got a new flame. This could be a new sexual partner. This is a new partnership, something that is very, very, very exciting. And I think that, you know, I don't even think you're going to have to. I think it's going to be easy. I don't think you're going to have to work on it. I mean, that eight of pentacles, this hard work pays off. Maybe maybe that's where you've been. Maybe maybe you've been working hard to to heal from a situation. I don't know. Working hard to move on from something that hurt you. Working hard to remove obstacles that have been holding you back from better better things. You guys have been putting in a lot of effort. It looks like to... evolve, you know, to accept change, to bring peace to your life, to to bring balance and harmony to your life. <laughs> Yikes. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is like loss. You may have had to choose, and you have had to choose with that Two of Wands and the Two of Swords, you know, do you follow your passion or do you I'm trying to think of the right words it's it's or money or is it money or is it assets is it is it what you have or is it what's more important to you maybe that was the decision what's more important to you love or money passion or money so i feel like maybe some of you have been working hard to make a really painful, stressful decision in regards to what's most important to you. And I think one of the obstacles that was in the way was probably a financial obstacle, you know, something to do with finances, something to do with money. I think for a lot of you, you worked really, really hard for what you have. And perhaps in order to move on, to get to where you, the path, to follow your passion, to follow your you know, what you really want, you may have to give up some of the money or the assets or whatever. You know, maybe you have to, you know, give some of your time to something other than your job. You know, you have to be able to balance out, you know, money and work or and love and passion. And I think that's that's definitely there's opposition here absolutely i think what what i think what's going on here is many of you have been stuck because of financial reasons and i feel like now you are in the process or you have made a decision that it's not about that you know it's not about what i have it's about how i feel it's about what i desire it's about my desires you know so I feel like you guys may be giving up, but you may be ending is a less than passionate relationship to go after, you know, what you truly desire. 
So I feel like we do definitely have a new connection here with somebody, and it is a new one, by the way. We have a new connection here with someone. It looks to like be a new one. I mean, I suppose it could be somebody from your past. It could be, but it looks to me like we have somebody coming into your life fairly quickly that really lights that fire within you and makes you feel passionate and just there's a there's a definite attraction here and i feel like you you get to the point where you know what do i do i have time for this can can i accept this and in order for you to accept this you probably have to get rid of an obstacle which has to do with money way maybe it's another partner or it's a you work too much or whatever it is maybe you have to remove an obstacle that is holding you back from following this desire that you have so anyway if that makes any sense at all yeah it's like maybe some of you are moving maybe some of you are um dealing with some financial constraints that are hindering your ability to move forward i do think that you're moving forward though i think that you guys are definitely moving forward whether you lose money or not i think that you are deciding to follow your desires you know your passion what you're passionate about um i feel like you're releasing you are you're releasing anxiety you're releasing things that cause stress in your life some of you are moving some of you are moving you're you're just giving up you're giving up you know on holding on for financial reasons and i think you're doing that because it's too stressful it's too it's too mentally painful to hold on to something just for financial reasons you may be you may have been working too hard for example and you know you realize that you know it's not about the money it's about passion you know you know you guys are definitely moving in a new direction something significant is ending some of you um Are basically taking the lead you're taking the lead it's like you're, you're putting yourself back in control I feel like for a long time you guys have been trying to make everybody happy right you've been trying to just appease everybody and everything and I think you've come to the point where your dreams and your wishes matter and I feel like you're still gonna do everything in your power to make sure everything is happy but you realize that Sometimes you have to make some compromises and be at peace with who you are to, you know, take care of everybody else. So anyway, I feel like you guys um, are probably about to find some peace in a situation. Um, the Emperor and the Star with a Death card. <laughs> I, can't, I don't even know what to say. Um, hmm. now the emperor is a father figure it is a husband it is a man that is very dominant um, you could be dealing with somebody that is helping you bringing you together they're helping you to make a, a stressful decision now th this can be somebody that has passed away or something like that i don't know where i'm getting that message from but it really feels like that's what this is i, I have to tell you what i'm thinking and when i say i don't know what i what to say is is because i was trying to come up with the right words i feel as though um we have we have a blessing this is a blessing coming could be brought to you from an elder you know, you could be receiving help from somebody, um, somebody from the other side. I don't know where this card, where this is, this is the truth, okay? Somebody from the other side could be bringing you together with somebody that is better suited for you. This page of wands is, is somebody that is better suited for you. Um, they may be helping you to make a more practical decision based on what you deserve, based on your desires. They may be helping you to, you know, choose peace over money. Um, <laughs> I don't know where 
this is coming from. But I feel like somebody is headed towards re some sort of miracle. They're going to some sort of blessing with this star card. It's a time of hope. It's a time of healing. It's a time of inspiration. You know, I feel like we definitely have an Aries. We have an Aquarius here. Um, somebody... I feel like this, I don't know where this is coming from, somebody from the other side, somebody that has passed away, is working hard, or is going to be working hard to help you find wish fulfillment. They're, it's like they're going to, they're going to, help you to remove the obstacles that are holding you back from success I think from somebody watching this I don't know who they are in a situation because it is financially stable but it's unfulfilling it's time the time is now for a new beginning. The time is now to release. The time is now to move forward. The time is now to master your emotions and go after your dreams, to follow your dreams, to get what you want. I feel as though we have somebody that is, it's, I think it's a, a male from the other side that is helping somebody come together that's a message for somebody it's not everybody I don't know we definitely have a major 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 change here that is coming and it's going to bring you a blessing there's no doubt could be this man I mean you could be you know we have you could be receiving this man who is you know somebody that can take really 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 good care of you somebody I mean this is a father figure this is a boss this is somebody who you know works hard to take care of everybody that is in his circle you know this is somebody who is very uh, protective dominant um, structured organized secure we have we have somebody coming in that is a dream come true Okay. Now, if this person is already passed away, they're gonna they're gonna help you. They're gonna help you. They're bringing you a blessing of some sort, something you have been wishing for. It's like a wish fulfillment here, and maybe you have been. Somebody has been stuck. Somebody has been stuck and in denial and not able to follow their heart. And I think that's because of financial reasons. Anyway. We de and I feel like this is somebody from the other side. I think somebody from the other side is going to assist in your wish fulfillment, Virgo. You may seem like, you know, you may be really emotional. You may be really emotional because this is, you know, <laughs> what you asked for. It's like you're getting something that you asked for. I don't know who this is for. But anyway, um, whew. you know, this is a family member that has passed away. I'm sorry, I don't know why that keeps coming from. I, you know, this is a family member that has passed away that is assisting. They're assisting you to go in a new direction. They are. They are. Could be an uncle. I don't know where that's coming from. Could be a brother. I don't know who it is. Um, could be, it could be a brother. I don't know who it is. It could be somebody that's younger than you. I don't know who it is. I think it's a male though. I do think it's a male. I think that somebody is, is from the other side is coming to assist you to move forward. It's time. It's time for your transformation. It's time for you to be loved. It's time for you to follow your passion. It's time for you to 
stop living in denial. It's time for you to be respected. It's time for you to have somebody that works with you. It's time for you to be loved, whatever that means. I don't know. Um, it's time for you to uh, go down that new path. And I think that a lot of you have been stuck. So we definitely have big, big, big change coming in April. One phase of your life is completely positively over and you are traveling to a new destination. There is absolutely no doubt about it. No doubt. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yes, somebody is about to receive some sort of blessing from above. A big one. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I think we have a new connection coming in. I do. They're bringing you, bringing somebody that is very well suited into your life. This is a suit somebody that is very well suited for you. It's like this. There's this. I think we have a new partnership coming in here. And it's brought to you straight from heaven. I mean, this is heaven. And with the death card, you know, it's heaven sent. It is heaven sent. It is. It's a heaven sent connection here. You know, that's what I, that's the way I feel. One more card. The dream come true. Thank you, lucky stars. I guess we'll take both of these since I want to. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself. Do what's right for you. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You know who this is. Somebody from the other side is bringing you together with the person that you are supposed to be with. And that is what this is. I know that's what this is. I think that you know who this person is. Does it have to be the ex? It could be. It could be somebody that, that you've known in another life, right? It could be somebody that you knew when you were a child. There is a blessing coming. Don't lose hope. But you may need, you may be forced to make some sort of change. Maybe, maybe this person, whoever it is from the other side, gives you the strength, the mental strength. The chariot is about mental strength to move forward, to allow yourself to release. Whatever this is, it's going to lead to success. But you're going to have to stop living in denial. <laughs> so anyway... This could be somebody that you've blocked or they've blocked you because that's blocking. I don't know what that means, but unblock. Anyhow, Virgo, be prepared for a huge, huge, huge shift here. It's huge. It's major. The death, the star, the temperance, the chariot, the, the world card, major. Get ready. Good luck. <laughs>